Jacob's back doing Cobra Kai videos? Absolutely! Welcome back to this video, my fellow Cobra Kai friends, or Miyagi-Do, Eagle Fang, whatever your dojo. Um, before I get into the subject matter of this video, um, a big reason why I haven't done many Cobra Kai uploads lately is, you know, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good where Season 4 kind of left us. Um, and I wanted to just, you know, Stranger Things is out, Kenobi's out, you know, my mind's kind of been on other stuff. Um, but every now and then I get a sense of, a wave of Cobra Kai nostalgia, you know, kicking me right in the, you know, the backside, so... Hey, here we are. Here we are. We're talking about Cobra Kai again for the 50th millionth time. And in this one, it's exclusively a Miguel and Robbie video. So I, I put Miguel's name first so people can, you know, not use that and say, Hey, it's the Robbie fanboy again. Uh, screw it. I, I, I wear those colors proudly. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about why these two are the catalysts to bring everybody together. And it goes deeper than just... Okay, we've got the Goku and Vegeta of the show. It's like no, no, no. That th that's very surface level. I'm I'm talking deeper, deeper storytelling. And I want to give a huge shout out to my brother Alex for saying all this kind of stuff, because he's been speaking my language on this since day one. And yes, Miguel and Robbie have a load of beef to get through. They have a lot of bad blood. There is a lot of shit that they have to get through in order to move forward. But that's what this season will primarily be about. It's about the season of reconciliation, <clears throat> coming together, and catharsis. Now, I know sometimes there's a comment that goes, Yes! Yes, I'm right! These two will never be friends! Well, then you clearly don't understand the point of the show. The show is heavily based on the movies, and the movies were about Miyagi-Do and the legacy of that being forgiveness. You have strong roots, you are not defined by your past, you're defined by what at your actions are, and how you go about making things right. And even in the trailer, Johnny has a good speech, where he's like, we all screw stuff up sometimes, and we all mess shit up. What matters is how you how you move forward from it and i i would be if i was a betting man i would say he's talking to robbie in that scene because primarily even though i've got the reputation of robbie fanboy i'm not oblivious to the fact that robbie nearly killed this guy he nearly killed him like almost whether the intention was there or not and whether it was an accident or not he nearly killed miguel so in my opinion robbie has a, a shed load more to make up for in this situation and in this sense than Miguel has to. Miguel's got to make up for a few things here or there, but by and large, Ro it kind of leans a bit towards Robbie for being the aggressor. And I've had conversations with my fellow kings about this. Uh, Miguel from Cobra Kai Nation, aka Shamoon. Um, see, see what I did there? Shout out to him. Um, and essentially, they're going to be seeing things from each other's perspective this season. It's not going to be just a case of, okay, they both know each other's styles. That's it. That's why they're going to come together. It's like, no, these two are two halves of the same coin. It's basically just Daniel and Johnny all over again. And Daniel and Johnny, part of their growth this season is saying, hey, we're not going to wait 30 plus years for you two to bury your beef because look where it's gotten us. It's taken us till nearly in our 50s for us to bury this beef. You ended up in juvie, he ended up in a coma, he had his mohawk shaved off, you know, she had her face almost taken off, and she's about to lose her mum. Like, th there's all these, uh, and, and Dimitri g gets bullied, you know, there's all these little things along the way that have been creeping up, that are now going to be paid off. And before season four dropped, I always said that season four would end with planting the seeds for the rest of the show. I think season 5 is going to be doing that. Season 5 is going to be the fallout from season 4, and it's going to be just rebuilding, you know, coming together. And I did a video talking about it, about the One United Dojo. I still think that's going to happen. I think we're going back to that old school formula where the show has been very, very grey since the beginning. I think we're going to go back to that old school formula of where Cobra Kai is clearly the bad guys, and it's everyone else versus them. And it doesn't mean that Terry Silver won't have some grey, or the people, everyone who's in Cobra Kai is bad. But don't expect, uh, Sean, if Sean joins, don't expect him to stay there any longer than Season 5. Don't expect Kenny to stay there longer than Season 5, because he's Robbie's apprentice. But also, they're the clear-cut villains now. It's it's setting them up for that. And I And one response that I often see is, oh, there needs to be some bad guys in Cobra Kai. Well, why do you think Terry Silver's in charge? Why do you think unnamed senseis are now joining the fold? Silver is building his empire. Like, if we have to make a Star Wars comparison here, just to simplify it, 
Silver is Palpatine and he's building his empire and you're going to have a bunch of NPC, non-playable henchmen types that are running the show. Basically like a, a Power Rangers episode where, you know, every now and then Goldar or, or Rita, you know, Rita or whoever would send in the putties and then the Power Rangers would beat the living daylights out of them and then a cheesy montage would play. That's where we're going. I, I genuinely believe that is where we're going. And I think the future is looking bright for Robbie and Miguel because once these two bury their beef, it's going to be a great moment. Like, these two will never be friends, but I can relate them to Jack Sparrow and Barbosa from Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Jason and Tommy from Power Rangers, uh, Anakin and Obi-Wan, uh, The Rock and Vin Diesel, you know, Harry Potter, uh, Harry Potter and uh, Draco Malfoy even. Um, you've got... What's another one? There's another one I had in my head then that completely... Uh, Goku and Vegeta. You know, um, there's a, there's like every movie ever. Rocky and Apollo. There's, there's, all, there's always a character that will push them to their limits. And yes, Eli could be that in a way. But I'm talking in a broader, bigger picture sense. The son of jo Johnny Lawrence and the next Karate Kid. That's essentially what's going to happen for these two. And alone, these two are good. Any do these two have been the leaders at every dojo they've been at. And the reason Eli got his time to shine in Season 4, one, because Miguel was just out of it, but also because Miguel was the leader of Eagle Fang, Robbie was leading me uh, Cobra Kai, and as much as Sam is the heir of Miyagi-Do and Anthony will be that one day, it opened the door for Eli to be the leading man in that dojo. That's, what, that's essentially what happened. And I think, you know, I just... I just really want something to shake up this show, you know, and as I've said before, their fight in the trailer is meant to be their final fight. This is going to be their final fight, and as they go up the staircase, as they go near the railing, it's going to be a conscious choice by the both of them to stop fighting and realise the bigger picture. Hey, whoa, we're about to make the same mistakes again. We cannot do this again. They're going to make that choice themselves. And I link it all the way back to the first Spider-Man movie with Tobey Maguire, where he sat in the car and Uncle Ben puts this quote on him. These are the years when a man changes into the man he's going to become for the rest of his life. Just be careful who you change into. And Robbie and Miguel, especially Robbie, have both made a load of mistakes. And Johnny as well. Johnny especially has made a load of mistakes. He's, he's never been there for Robbie. He's pushed Miguel away from him. You know, Johnny has a lot to focus on this season. So while Daniel's focused on Silver with Chosen, Johnny's main role is bringing these two together and fixing the mistakes that he's caused. But also... This fight, I think, will end in a kind of draw, it will end in a tie, and it will end with a situation where both Robbie and Miguel make the conscious choice to stop fighting, because it, enough of this, enough of this, like, you also got to understand, these are teenagers, right, and nearly young adults, but they're teenagers, more, more or less, they're like 17, 18, like, you know, they've been through so much already, and maybe it's me, you know, putting too much of myself within the show, but I just want the kids to come home. Like, I'm just sick of this. Like, th let's change it up a bit. Season 3 was good for shaking things up. Season 4 was good to have, like, a sort of Revenge of the Sith type season. But I think it's now time to bring all the pieces together. Bring all the chess pieces together. And if you're worried about Cobra Kai not having any bad guys to fight against... That's why rant new actors and actresses are joining. Because, Cobra, you know, Silver is recruiting henchmen, aka senseis... For his dojos. He's got like nine dojos worth of students. What makes people think that he's going to be short of students? He isn't going to be. He's got a whole nine dojos full of them. You know, plenty of non-playable dojo students, you know. But it's good to start talking some Cobra Kai again. I've kind of missed it, but I needed a bit of a refresher. I've been really on Kenobi at the minute. Stranger Things Season 4 Volume 1 was outstanding. Um, I might do a live stream talking about that. Guys and girls, jump in the comments section down below. Also, let me know if there's anything that, you know, you think I've missed in Season 4 that you'd like me to talk about or, or whatnot. There's a couple of ideas I've got um, in between now and when the next trailer for Cobra Kai releases. Um, uh, well, for when the next trailer releases, I've got a couple more things to talk about. But guys and girls, I'll see you in the comments section down below. And yeah, we're marching forward to 8K. So smash that subscription button if you haven't already. Jump in the comments section. And just as a final PSA, if you don't agree with anything I say, that's fine. That's okay. You know, I welcome that. Because then I can see your perspective and your point of view. And I can learn as well. You know, maybe there's some things that I'm as good as I am. You know, just got to stroke the ego a bit. 
there's sometimes some things that I miss or that I miss out upon. So maybe if you comment it down below, then I go, oh, that's interesting. I never thought of that. See? Perspective shift. Guys and girls, see you in another one soon.